What's up guys my name is Fezan Amjad and finally Adobe released their new AI video generation tool. So is it any good or not? Let's find out. Now once you go to firefly.adobe.com you can see we have this new interface. Now right here we have text to image and right here we have text to video. And this is another tool image to video. So let's first try the text to video tool. Now here we have a general settings. We have the model which is currently we only got one Firefly video beta. We can't really change this. We have the aspect ratio. We have the white screen and we have portrait. Right here we have a fixed FPS which is 24. We can't really change that. And now right here we have some interesting feature which is camera shot and camera angles. Right here you can select your camera shots and right here you can select your camera angles. This is like the Hello AI new director mode in which you can select the camera shot in your text to video generation. And right here as you can see we have some advanced feature. So you don't have to change this. So first of all let's type a simple prompt. So I just want to try this simple prompt. So I want to ask a simple question. What is the most difficult thing that AI can't really generate even right now? AI can't really mimic cutting fruits or anything. I tested Kling, I tested Sora AI and even I tested Hello AI. For me I think Kling AI is the closest to reality. So let's test this out. So I have typed this simple prompt, a hand holding a knife cutting a tomato. The interface is really simple. You have to write your prompt and then you have to click on this generate button. And now it will generate your video. So now the video is generated. Let's look at the result. So right now the result is looking great. Oh my God. I can't believe it. So this AI tool beat my prompt so finally i have found a tool that can really cut a tomato or fruit or anything let's test some other prompt as well to see if this model is worth your time or not so now we have another prompt as you can see guys we have this prompt now let's click to generate this clip as well and if you're wondering what this prompt is all about let me show you an example of this prompt generation from hello ai so with that prompt, I have generated this clip using Hello AI. With the exact same prompt, I regenerate my clip and this is the second generation. This is the third generation of the same prompt. This is the fourth generation of that prompt. So the video is now generated. So let's see if the Hello AI can beat Adobe or Adobe beat Hello AI. So we have this video. I really like the robot style, but we did not have a proper transformation from a car to a robot. Let's test another prompt. In Hello AI, I have generated this video, and as you can see, guys, we have this burger commercial, and at the end, it says, Come and get it. So let's copy this prompt. And now we can paste this prompt right here and let's see if Adobe can beat Hello AI or not. So while this video is generating, we can test the image to video result of Adobe Firefly. So go to the home page of Firefly, go to the video and as you can see we have image to video and it is also still in beta. Let's click to open this and right here as you can see guys we can upload an image. So I'm going to upload this image. And this image is also generated by using Firefly image to generation tool. Now you have to also type a prompt. So now we can copy this prompt because this is the same prompt that I used to generate image by using Firefly. And this image is generated by using the labs.google image gen 3. Now we can paste this same prompt right here. And now let's generate this video as well. The text to video is generated. Let's see if Adobe can beat Hello AI or not. So currently, the overall quality of this video is looking great, but we did not have the text that say come and get it. And we have some error in the video, but if you look overall the quality of the video, I think it will take some time to improve Adobe to improve this tool. But 
the overall quality is looking great. So the image to video is now generated. Here we have the result. And I think it's okay. It's not great, but I think it is okay right now because the Adobe is maybe improving their AI tool. This is the first model, so it has some flaws in it. Let's test the first and the end frame result. Before we test Adobe Firefly first and end frame, this is the first and end frame of Kling AI 1.0 model, and this is the result. Now I'm going to try to recreate this video using Adobe Firefly. So I'm going to copy my original prompt. If we go to designer.microsoft.com, I use this prompt to generate these images and I use the same prompt, just change the apple into orange and I generated these images. And now we have first and end frame. Now I'm going to select this prompt. I'm going to paste my prompt, apple transforming and let's generate this video. So the prompt is too short. Let's add camera stay static so it won't move the camera so now we can generate this video so the video is now generated and here we have the result and oh my god we got this crazy video i did not expect this i really like the transformation but i was expecting something else let's change the camera from static and let's change the promo little bit apple transforming into orange seamlessly okay we have this prompt right now you can't really select your camera shot if you are generating first and end frame videos let's remove the second frame the end frame and now we can select the camera shot okay i'm going to select the handheld and now let's generate this video so the video is now generated and here we have the result and oh my god i really like this video than the previous because it is something like magical in it so what do you think it's adobe is going to be a game changer for ai video generation industry or not let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in my next video stay tuned